Okay, Ryan, I tried this last night. <clears throat> it did not go very well because the phone died. So, here we go again. I've got a Yamaha YC88 here. Got the Norton Stage 4 here. Um, just going to be recording straight into Logic. And comparing pianos, electric pianos and organs. I'm just giving you kind of a <clears throat> quick rundown of the keyboards, basic sounds, and just so you get an idea of what's what's possible. Uh, let's see if I can use it. So I'm just going to pick up where I left off last night. Just going to go a straight empty bank here. the Nord. All right. set up here with basic sounds. What you'll see me do is actually play the Nord's sounds sometimes from the Yamaha's keys, but I'll explain when I'm doing that. So, <clears throat> all right, so first things first, I'm gonna go into the Nord sound manager here and see what pianos are loaded. Right. So as you probably know, there's lots of electric pianos and pianos that you can download that go into the Nord. Um, when I did this last night, I just, it took an absolute ton of time and I don't know why I just got lost in the sounds, I guess, but I'm just going to go back and forth between the two. So we'll start with Bright Grand on the Nord. There are no weird things going on. It's literally no reverb even. And I'm triggering the Nord from the Yamaha. So what I'm going to do is just compare sounds that are similar to each other and when there aren't similarities or where there's you know one's better at something than another i'll i'll explain that so uh all right here we go this is just a real loud kind of sound to get the the camera to sync up to what i'm doing so here we go all right so the nord bright grand this is a Yamaha S4. It sounds like this. And yes, I can play it from up here too.
going to show you something with the Nord that the Yamaha does not have, just as by way of comparison, and that's a sympathetic string resonance. So if I hold down a C here, and I play a note that's related harmonically to it, like let's say this C up here, you hear the strings ring out. Same thing with, say, this A, and then I'm going to play this E up here. You're hearing the sympathetic string resonance, which again is not something Yamaha does. Yamaha has a damper resonance uh, model going on there, but that's the bright grand. To the info here it's a Yamaha S4. All right turn the Nord off, turn the Yamaha on and the closest thing to that on here is going to be the S700. So that's this piano. Oops let me turn off the reverb. And I'm going to turn the tone knob up so it's brighter. when I'm holding down the damper and if I turn damper resonance off back on back off so this is just completely dry sound something I've noticed about the Yamaha you really dig in on the piano sounds it sounds like there's a limiter or a compressor in there somewhere even though it's not active there's no limiter or compressor or anything like that there's no effects at all turned on right now just this tone knob which takes you all the way down like this all the way up like this so it's like a parametric eq that's set in a particular way for a brighter or darker sound Okay, moving on, turn the Yamaha off, turn the Nord back on. White Grand is the next one on the Nord. So in the Yamaha, we have the tone knob, right? On the Nord, we have something called um, timbre or piano filters. And they go here, they start at soft. They go to mid. Bright.
I'll turn it back off. This is the stock sound without any filters. Okay, turn the Nord off, Yamaha back on. The closest sound to the white Grand in the Yamaha is going to be the Hamburg Grand, which is actually a Steinway. The white Grand is a Steinway B. Hamburg Grand is a German Steinway, so. Quite a lot of um, natural ambiance to this one. There's no reverb on, no nothing like that. Damper resonance isn't, isn't even on. If I turn that back on, we get this. Damper resonance down just a tiny bit. You can hear the release of those keys. You hear that kind of thud in there. That's Yamaha's only non Yamaha piano in the YC. In the CP series, you get um, the Bosendorfer, which is a company that's owned by Yamaha now. So technically, that's still sort of like a Yamaha sample. I'm going to crank up the tone knob on this one so you can hear it even brighter. Turn damper resonance off. down so you hear the difference. Just to compare the Nord with the soft filter. Damper resonance back on. Keep hearing this. That's me triggering, accidentally triggering the pedal noise on the Nord using the Yamaha pedal. I need to be using the Nord pedal because it's more accurate, right? Because it's a it's a potentiometer, whereas the Yamaha is like a switch, so it just kind of is on and off. But if you get the stage or the piano series or the grand series with the Nord, you have the option of having the triple pedal um, or even a single pedal with the new stage series so that you can uh, trigger these pedal noise sounds. So.
Back to Yamaha. Back to the Nord. Next sound is Studio Grand, which is a C7, playing it from the Yamaha. the C7 on the Nord and let's just turn on a tiny bit of uh, stage reverb just for some effect. thing to that on the Yamaha is going to be the C7, which is the same model. And let's turn the tone knob back halfway so it's more realistic. You crank the tone knob up, it gets real bright. down it gets real dark and somewhere right in the middle is appropriate just a tiny bit of reverb on this one This is much more like a kind of a gospel and, and rock kind of sound, right? Grand, which you were in particularly, uh, I think, interested in. This is a Blutner. I may be saying that wrong. <laughs>
there's a feature on the piano five, I believe, and also on the stage four called unison, which opens the sound up, widens it and sort of detunes it. So this is the velvet grand with unison on one, two, three, off. One, two, three. So it has a little bit of a chorus effect, but it widens the piano, gives us some more character. I really like it. And I gotta take a break because my Mac is saying it's about to die. Gotta be sure and charge your stuff. But it won't last. It's all tangled up. Let's see, do I have any open? all the way over. See how far I can get away with it. I can scoop the whole thing here over. Alright, now the Mac won't die. Sorry about that. Okay, where was I? Oh, Velvet Grand, yes. and turned off. Um, there really isn't anything that, that's exactly like that on the Yamaha at all. So we're just going to go straight to the CFX at this point. Damper resonance is on. This is off. So we'll turn it on and leave it down a little bit. with the tone knob all the way down. And all the way up. I'm gonna change the touch to hard so you get a better idea of the dynamics. Thank you. 
with the middle with the tone knob. Next up is Royal Grand 3D. Oops, keep getting the wrong pedal, sorry. <laughs> Royal Grand 3D is a Yamaha S6. Change the touch back to normal so we get thing to that on the Yamaha is going to be probably the live CF3. And live CF3 is the uh, sample you've heard in tons of music. If you heard uh, Michael W. Smith's Agnes Day, this is the sound on that. It's also in lots and lots and lots of songs, but this is the, the live CF3 on the Yamaha. option is the Italian Grand. There's pretty much nothing left uh, in the Yamaha, I don't think, except for upright pianos. So just listen to the Italian Grand on the Nord. <laughs> Fazioli sample. Here is the same sample with unison one on. Uprights. 
this is the place that Nord excels, in my opinion. I only have uh, Pearl Upright, which is a Groshin. Uh, the Grand Upright, which is a Yamaha U3. A Felt Upright, which is a Yamaha U1. And a Bam Bam Bambino Upright, which is a um, Baldwin installed in here at the moment. But this is Pearl Upright, and we'll compare it in a second to the... Uh, upright in the Yamaha. turn on the bright filter so you can hear the difference. for the pearl upright. Just widens it, brings it to life. Sorry, I'm getting carried away. Frankly, one of the reasons to get into the Nord world is their upright piano samples, just to be honest with you. And there are more, and I'll let you hear those. Um, but right now I'm gonna let you hear the one upright, uh, excuse me, two uprights that are in the YC. The first one is the U1. This is a Yamaha piano, so the Yamaha U1. sample really really good Yamaha's best upright piano sample in my opinion <laughs> and if you crank the tone knob you get a real bright you can actually hear the strings buzzing Grand upright, and this is a Yamaha U3. I'm oh, sorry, we're on the bright sample. <laughs> bright 
uh, filter. Now this is this is just the stock sound with just the touch of reverb. This is no reverb. This is the Grand Upright, which is a, a Yamaha U3. upright samples. We'll add a little unison and you get Gosh, that's good. All right. Um Back to the Nord. I'm sorry, Yamaha. Back to the Yamaha. Felt piano. This is a U1 felt piano. This got added with uh, the last update, version 1.3. Beautiful, beautiful sound. Let's crank the reverb up a little. I believe the U1 and this felt sample are the two that I like the best in the Yamaha. sound. That's good. Nord also has felt upright. Which is an SU1, which is a U1. That's <laughs> so good. A little more verb.
So good. Okay. Um, that's the filter break. Yamaha is out of spinners except for the Nashville C3. Sounds like this. That's the extent of the pianos, which are in the uh, YC and CP. The only two that are missing in the YC that are in the CP are the Bosendorfer, <clears throat> which I think they call their Imperial Grand, and the uh, SU7, which is a upright. Not a particularly <clears throat> good sample, in my opinion. But... What's next in the Nord? Um, might as well let you hear the <clears throat> the other upright that I have loaded, which is the Bambino, which I think is uh, Baldwin. Ah, my verb's cranked up, but the bright's still on. So there's a ton of pianos that we have not covered in the uh, piano library for the Nord. But that's all the ones that I've got loaded in the grand upright categories. Now let's go to the one you've been waiting for, the electric pianos. So no effects, no nothing going on except for a little bit of reverb, but we can turn that off. This is EP1, which is the 1978 stage Mark I. It's called Deep Timber. on that sound like this. This is soft. This is mid. This is bright. This is Dino 1. changing the sound, I'm changing the, the filter, the, the timbre. And this is Dino 2. And 
back to stock. Nord off. So that is a 78 stage Mark I. And the very first sound on here in the Yamaha is a 1978 Mark I. Way too much reverb. Gosh, it's so sensitive. This is with the tone knob all the way up. Tell you what, let's add some room reverb just to give this a more natural sound. We have chorus, flanger, phaser, uh, auto, uh, tremolo, remodulation, delay, and all sorts of other things that we can do to the sound, but just keeping it simple for this demo. Turn the reverb on to match on the Nord and go back to the same sound on the Nord. That's room reverb on the Nord, here's on the Yamaha. Back to the Nord. That's deep timbre one. Um, on the Nord, the next one is a Sparkle Top, which is a 1967 classic model, which sounds like this. Unison just for fun. Crank it up to a three. Okay, that's back off. Turn the Nord off. 
closest thing on the Yamaha is going to be... Roads Dark. Back to the Nord. Nord, Yamaha. Stockholm on the Nord, which is a 1976 Mark One. That's a 76 Mark I, so closest thing on here is going to be don't think we have a 76 Mark I, but the 73 Road Studio is pretty close. So this is the Yamaha. This is the Nord. Sounds like the Yamaha's louder that Yamaha. I mean the Nord's louder. Now it's even. This is the Yamaha. Let's turn on some crunchy stuff for the Nord and the Yamaha. So on the Yamaha, that takes the uh, <clears throat> the form of amp models. This one's called Lead, which is a UK Lead. You can use your imagination, but it sounds like it might be a box. <laughs> This is with the 73 Road Studio on the Yamaha. There's a tone knob on the speaker amp section. If we crank it all the way up, it gets bright. All the way down, dark. And drive. Let's take the drive to the middle. Let's do it right in the middle. I think that's better. 
The next one is Crunch, UK Crunch. Take the drive up. UK double, I mean, sorry, US double. Sounds like probably a Fender twin. And finally, we have US case, which is like the suitcase piano speaker. Let's turn on the drive. This is just straight drive. There's no uh, modeling happening here. This is just the drive, default drive, if you will, from the Nord. <laughs> up is ridiculous but about a third of the way is nice now let's listen to the amp models this is the Fender Twin. I'm turning the filter off on the pianos, or electric pianos, so. Turn the drive up a little on the Fender Twin. So let's be fun and add a little auto pan. <laughs> okay, this is JC, which is uh. I suppose jazz chorus. This is small, which is a small speaker, like a like what you find on a electric piano, like a whirly or something. Okay. Um, what we want to check out next? We did our pianos, we did our electric pianos. Of course, there's all the synth stuff. Let's go for organ. I'm just gonna turn on. Uh, one of my sounds I've created and just solo the organ parts. Okay, here's a good example. Oops, Nord's still on. <laughs> here's a good example. This is the Yamaha. That's very dry. 
dry. So let's crank the uh, overall reverb up. <laughs> This is with all draw bars out. This is Hammond Model 1. That's with drive all the way down. This is with drive all the way up. The tone knob is also all the way down in the speaker amp section, so let's turn that up. It's halfway now. Let's just pull out our first four draw bars. <laughs> up the pre-drive in the organ section. pre-drive uh, halfway and change to the Hammond Model 2. Put the Leslie back on to slow. And chorus off. So this is Hammond Model 1, Hammond Model 2, Hammond Model 3. Again, 1, 2, Three. Pull all the bars out. One, two, three. Crank the drive halfway up and hear the difference again with four draw bars out. Hammond one, Hammond two, Hammond three. Pre-drive all the way up, Hammond 1, Hammond 2, Hammond 3, and with drive all the way up, Hammond 1, Hammond 2, Hammond 3. Side note, the uh, Yamaha has different colors that you can set your your uh, draw bars at. So for example, they can be red. <laughs> pink or green yellow or whatever so now let's be realistic and put all of these sounds that you've been hearing together um, cool thing right here on the Yamaha you've got your switches that you can turn your different sections off so I'm gonna just turn on piano this is the U1 upright this is a sound that I've made Turn on section B and fade these uh, synth strings in. And 
And then I'm going to bring the organ in as well. Here's a Rhodes layer, which is the 73 Rhodes, an analog pad, and the Hanrund Model 1. I could just solo each section. Or bring them in one at a time. sections off on the Yamaha, go back to the Nord, and just turn on the uh, organ section so you can hear that. Okay, so this is just the raw, raw organ, and I'm going to assign the control pedal to control this so I can bring it in and out. And just a tad bit of stage reverb. This is just... That's a drive. to drive.
we didn't go into it on the Yamaha, but this this also does percussion. <laughs> Just let you hear what it would sound like if I put all these sounds together. It's just something kind of simple. Let's see. Um... Okay, here's a good one. This is uh, this is the Pearl Upright. Oops. With copious amounts of reverb, and the organ gets blended in with the foot. to this little wheel so it's it's blending in right now this is a sample that i created it is not part of the nord another example um here is some strings from the nord library layered with my piano with a big hall reverb. I'm going to bring the organ in. other pad in here. You can hear the organ coming in. This is the Pearl Upright piano, by the way. And maybe I want to bring in some strings. Maybe a little bit of this cathedral organ. And then last thing I'll show you just for fun is the Wurlitzers on these two. So this is the Nord. Turn off the reverb. Actually, let's turn it to uh, room. So you hear it just raw. Maybe bringing in just a tad bit of drive. Go. 
let's hear the uh, <clears throat> the default Whirly sound, which is a Whirly wide. <laughs> sound going there as well as uh, auto pan. you an idea of uh, how these two sound. <laughs> 